Hello, welcome back. Last time I did one puzzle on purpose and one puzzle by accident. So we're in the 4 and 5 zone of this island. Just got four puzzles left to go. And see what happens. What was that called again? Bring it into being. Into being. Apparently there's some kind of pun with the game's name. Being and nothingness is something. But it's being and nothingness instead. Uh, I don't know much about it though. Uh, Alright, so we have a dispenser here, cloud and explosive. Two bombs must explode. One here, one here. Something that can hold a plate must go there. So either of these creatures. And there's a cloud formation there, which you're implying there's some reason to zap. Yes, to get rid of the red and yellow beans. Got it. Okay. Uh, so... Obvious issue I'm going to have... Being that I need... Lots of things. Um, how much things can I set up here? Okay, cool. What about red now? Do I need red? If I can dispense yellow... Oh... This is gonna be silly, isn't it? Okay, I have one idea. I don't know if it's a good one, but here it is. Well, it's gonna make so many clouds. Too many clouds in bed spa. Oh, I don't like this much. But I'm doing it. Right. So. How do I think this is going to work? I think it's not. Because I was thinking something like... Once I've done that, I can come over here and like... Uh, do this stuff to make there be no more yellow beans, but that has not helped me in any way. Okay, two yellow dispensers on this side could result in enough bombs to blow this up and uh, hold that down. I only need one to blow that up and one to blow this up. Okay, um, so let's say I would have done that. There are obvious problems, but are there non-obvious ones too? Probably. Uh, all right, so I'll just just plop these down here because I don't have a use for them right now. Oop, you're not a bomb yet. No, you are. Hey, don't do that. Uh, do do that though. Okay, cool. Um. Yeah, real cool. Hmm. Alright, well, that got me as far as I predicted it would. And that's as many yellows as I get before I spawn the cloud, right? Yep, just two. Okay. So if I can only have... Look at this formation again. That formation doesn't let me put any explosives on either side, really. So there's no way I'm transporting a bean across this corridor, right? This forbids it, right? As far as I can tell, and I have no means to turn... Well, I do potentially have the means to... Oh, I see something of great interest here. Okay. This is interesting. Um, how do I think that could ever happen? So I'm thinking of turning clouds back into yellow beans. So if I had... Uh, 
Uh, what am I doing here? You have just enough beans to do this. Cool. They're all on the same side. There are no clouds here to turn into beans. I do this part. And then a bunch of nothing. Also, odd number here. Odd numbers in this case are not the kind of numbers I would want. Okay, so by making a cloud, I gain the ability to make another cloud. By making another cloud, I gain the ability to... Let's see where this is going. Maybe still somewhere good. I'm not 100% convinced it's not. Uh, if I wanted it to be something good, I would have to put you in a different spot. Like, say... Ah! <laughs> not there. Hmm. How do I think about this? Okay, how about you behind uh, something? And then you would go here, and I have this in a bad spot that I don't like. I was gonna send a bomb in here, blowing both of those up. Yeah, getting me more beans, but at no point does this ever result in uh, anything happening over here where I need a bomb. So while doing all this, I need to end up with a bomb on the left. So I think I'm really having the hunch that the, the means by which this will become possible is to store potential yellow beans in cloud form. Yeah, okay, so one yellow on each side, and I'm certainly going to need a red somewhere. Uh, where is that? See, now the issue with that is that I can only put clouds on one side now. I can only put clouds on one side now. Clouds can't move. Now, if I made two red dispensers first, I could have quite a stock of red beans, right? Well, sort of, eventually, after I spawn that, maybe. Uh, okay, is there a reasonable way that I could arrange for infinite red beans here? One yellow dispenser cannot die? It could maybe. I'm not so certain about that. No, if I don't have a bomb to start the entire process, there's no way I can make multiple bombs exist in this puzzle. I was thinking of, yeah, storing yellow beans in the cloud. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, getting them back by blowing them up. But yeah, I need, I need an explosion to catalyze that in the first place. Okay, um, so what am I doing? How do I analyze this better? I need a step here. Therefore, this needs to be held. Okay, I have two tools that can hold it. Bomb and dispenser. Uh... Since I need to make at least one bomb on each side, it seems convenient to be able to make two bombs here and one bomb here, and a bomb can hold that. Okay, cool. I have two yellow beans to do that, and I have an uncrossable, I think, barrier here. Here. Which makes it very inconvenient to get around.
In order to spawn a bomb, I either have to just do it, losing access to all sorts of stuff, or have two yellow dispensers in existence. They will need to be on the same side as each other. So both yellow dispensers must go on the same side if I cannot carry beans across this corridor. And this is the side where it seems like I need more of them, so it feels like it makes sense to put them here. I'm gonna put these like way out of the way, pretty much. I don't know where I want them yet. And then what, a red dispenser over here? But then what does that do? That does nothing. I could put a red dispenser here and also do nothing. Because none of this helps me cross the Corridor of Doom. So how can two yellow beans end up both over here and over here? If I could bring some more clouds over there, I might be able to do something, but I can't. So I have no one to help me transport. No way to feed a yellow bean to a something over here. Uh, that's a bad spot because I'm going to need to push a bomb down from there. I don't know what's a good spot, though. This is great, sure. But now what do you want? Got these three red beans that could turn into a red dispenser and that seems like a good idea. But where and why would it help me? So I can make more clouds, which can store... Like the whole thing is I want to send a bomb across here, blow up some clouds on the other side to make their beans start existing. And then walk over there and use those beans that now exist to uh, to do stuff. Could I have two red dispensers, one on each side? I don't think so. But okay, so that action from a dist- Oh, interesting. I think I can test this without doing anything too weird. So one of those on each side. Red, let's say, here. Okay, no beans in the puzzle. Those beans in the puzzle. But I still have to somehow unite two yellow beans in order to make a bomb. And with where that cloud is, I can't do that. So yeah, doing these things at the same time just, just doesn't happen. I can't make a bomb now. Right? It looks a lot like I... Oh, hang on. No, here's how I make a bomb. That's right. So I, I do this, I do that. Uh, no, that bean still exists. So, no. No, that bean still exists. Therefore, no more yellow gets dispensed. Um, weird idea. Ooh, extremely interesting weird idea. Check this out. Uh, how will I do this? I'm going to hold on to this red bean for a moment. Let's swap colors. And do what with that? No, okay, so no. Um, I want this red bean. So I'm preventing you from spawning another yellow, controlling carefully the number of those that are in the puzzle. However... That doesn't mean anything. I can't then also cause things I want to... Okay, so I could stand here. No. <sighs> and Snared Cloud, I've already tested and they still use their lightning. Okay, preventing a dispenser from dispensing using a different color of bean. Is there some way I could, like, 
Make that happen to, uh... Do something good. Maybe. By preventing... I don't know if this is the puzzle to test this. Well, if I want to use it to solve it, then it, it's going to have to be. Let's work on one side at a time, somehow. So if I had access to everything over here... I'll do this... I put down that red there. I take these two yellows. I make a bomb and do this. You are not in any way prevented from dispensing. Okay, so pacification does not stop dispensing. All right. Does that mean anything, really? I'm not sure. But now I should note I can't make a bomb unless... Okay, so how would I currently make a bomb? Or sorry, I, I can make a cloud or a bomb. If I make a cloud... I have to make another cloud. And I end up in a place I don't like. Alright, here we go. I can do what I wanted to do at some point from here. Almost, um... Yes, I can. Uh, if I put this down here and send it that way... That's cool. I've added more beans to the puzzle. They're still all on one side, though. This does make it possible to make more dispensers. Okay. But I don't think this is leading anywhere. Nothing unspawns this cloud, and still nothing prevents it from lightninging me. And nothing moves a cloud from here to here. Nothing moves a dispenser. So yeah, still I think pretty much the ideal here is if I can come up with a machine that uh, dispenses a yellow this side and a yellow this side and from that somehow turn that into two yellows on one side, things would be good. But if I have a... Oh, what if I leave one red bean over here? And just don't worry about dispensing red, because I have no particular interest in any more, uh... Oh, okay. This is fairly plausible. I have no particular interest in any more clouds, except for one specific purpose. And I might be able to just make this happen here. But no... No, this requires me to add a cloud to each side, and at no point do I get a bomb. No number of bombs here, or clouds here, ever turns into yellow beans together. They dispense on either side, and also that cloud's really in my way. I'm only adding more yellow beans to the puzzle in the form of clouds that I cannot blow up because I can't unite yellow beans. So I have a fundamental conflict here. In order to make bombs, both dispensers must be on the same side. In order to make clouds, at least one yellow dispenser must be on the side where the clouds are. In order to have bombs on both sides, I need something. 
It seems like I can't have both yellows on the same side in order to have them on both sides. Unless clouds can exist over here, but that takes yellow beans. Was there any point at which I could have made a third yellow dispenser? Yes, right now. Okay, I don't really like that. Because now there's no potential for a red dispenser ever. And I couldn't have done red and then another yellow dispenser, right? I don't think so. And now I'm just in a situation where no beans can ever happen again. Ugh. What I really want is red dispenser, yellow dispenser, yellow dispenser, yellow dispenser. Yellow dispenser. Sure, yeah, four yellows. Well, actually, then I wouldn't even need a red here. Except I would need it to make that many. What? Answer's gonna be something like super unintuitive, isn't it? So this impasse, I'm, I'm cut off one way or the other. So what about the answer of... It doesn't really help anything to put my dispenser directly on this. I can do it, right? Can. I've accomplished nothing at all. Well, except I'm I'm just I'm only one mere bomb short of this. I don't think ensnaring has any role here. Okay, could I conceive of a way to sp oh, Okay, I vaguely have an idea here. How would this work? Like I was saying, unintuitive. No, if I ever spawn an additional Cloud, I don't ever get a bomb, right? I need two yellow things to exist at the same time for a bomb. The only way that happens is either, either at the beginning of the puzzle when I just have two, or with two yellow dispensers. Okay, so two yellow dispensers must exist in order for more than one bomb to ever happen in this puzzle. So I will have two yellow dispensers. Okay. Where are they? No matter what, if something has to cross over here... Uh, I'm just going around in circles here, it feels like. Okay, so, right. If two yellow dispensers must exist, then there are uh, three possibilities. Two on the left, one on each side, two on the right. So what are the exact problems with each of those permutations? One on either side means after this point, as far as I know, I can never unite two yellow beans, so bombs become impossible here. As far as I can tell. Okay, so not two on either side. So they're both going on the same side. Okay, so on this side. I look forward to understanding more and being proven wrong about that. But right now, that's how it seems.
I don't have a specific reason to be doing that, so let's not do it right now. Okay, so... Simple thing is, from there I get... that. There's nothing I can blow up that... Okay, so... To give a simple answer to that question. Both dispensers on left side means no bombs on the right. Both dispensers on right side means no bombs on the left. Dispensers on either side means bombs on neither side. How can I render that false? The best way I've so far seen, which doesn't work, is to have a cloud on the opposite side, which is impossible, which I then blow up by sending a bomb through the corridor, which is possible. It's just the reason for doing that is impossible. Because clouds involve yellow beans. Is there a smuggling trick I'm forgetting? I can protect beans on the ground, but beans on the ground can't protect me if they're on my same space. There's no water filling possible. Pre-spawned bombs can't do anything for me. I can ensnare one, but it doesn't really matter. So no, I got nothing here. Okay, here we go. I'm thinking about something wrong. Uh, I did some complicated stuff to get this set up. It wasn't actually that complicated, just applying the, the principles that I had before. Uh, basically using this process, I can bootstrap infinite dispensers of both colors. So I think this kind of gives me a shape of what I want to do. I'll show you the, the process I used here. Um, it's pretty simple. I took these, I spawned a bomb from them, that gave me more yellow beans, I put down a cloud here, spawned it, blew it up, and then I have these patterns for spawning. Right, at this point I have two reds so I can make another of these. And there's another red, so I can color it. Then I have two reds, so if I pick those up in another order, I can do this. And yeah, so with this specific setup, I can just make infinite yellow dispensers here. So, if I can do that... Then the way to get... The way to have a yellow dispenser on either side without that making it impossible to get bombs on either side is that I just must create more dispensers over here on one side. So let's work on that. If I had these ingredients and I do this, here's what I end up with. Obvious problem being, how do I ever get two reds again at the same time? And it kind of looks a lot like I don't, because it's the same problem. Everything is locked up now in clouds. And worse, I can't do anything with this red bean anymore. It worked before because I had the power of explosions on my side. Yeah, so splitting these up, if I could cause what to happen? Basically, if I had another red bean right now. Perhaps I made this dispenser too early? But then how would I ever get anything going over here? Oh, I don't have to have a whole lot going over here. Okay, here we go. So rather than a yellow dispenser... Well, but how would this ever turn into a bomb? It wouldn't. Um, okay, so let's pretend I can somehow do an operation here if I have a cloud instead of a yellow dispenser. How would that happen? I don't know. Also, I can spawn this a bit earlier than I had been. Is there an earlier point at which... Beans stop exist. Okay, I should have put that in range of a bomb explosion. Hold on, maybe I still have something here? Uh, 
Uh, what am I doing? That? Why am I doing that? It's hard to tell for sure. But I might have a reason. Do I have enough reds to make something happen here? I might. Here's a yellow dispenser, and here's another one. But no red dispenser could ever happen. Let's hope I don't need that to happen. Maybe I don't. Hold on, that's not true. There's there's a red bean tied up in that cloud. I think I might have something kind of good here, actually. I don't want to destroy you yet, because... Uh, you're made of yellow beans, and I'd like to use these operations while I have them available. Hold on, this looks kind of good. I think I have something. This was kind of blundery. So I wanted to leave this red bean over there. No, I don't need to. Do I? I don't think I need to. Because I got the ingredients for a dispenser now. And how will I be able to use that? Yes, I wanted to leave that red bean over here so I can make a red dispenser and... Yes, dispenser red and have that separated from yellows so I can't do much of it. Okay, I'm not done yet. Getting closer though... Okay, yeah, I can repeat the cloud trick. Okay, so do whatever it was that I did there, but keep another red bean on the left side. So just leave two red beans over there. Okay. So that looks like it turned into a solution, eventually. Um, it's kind of confusing how it happened. So I, I put a cloud here, and I leave two red beans. It seems so costly, and yet, that seems to be what I do. So we make two yellow dispensers here. And I can do that. That's how I... Yes, okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, alright. This is uh, carrying out plan A. That's what I originally wanted to do. I just... Just had to find the arrangement that made it possible. Why was it the thing to leave two red beans over there? I guess, yeah, one thing I wasn't thinking about was the... The whole idea of bootstrapping a, uh, a second yellow dispenser, bringing two yellow beans to uh, the same side, like, another time by just, like, having one yellow bean and the capacity to make more dispensers here. So I make a dispenser. I will need to color it yellow, which I can do. Uh... Yes, that's fine. So you're colored yellow and you will not dispense yet. Not until I make those yellows stop existing, which I can do. Then you can turn into a cloud. And... Am I not short on a red here? Wait, what did that do for me? Wait, no, that's okay. I can be short in a red. So here's an extra bomb. All I need is the two yellow beans there because I don't need to make a dispenser. I just need one explosion. Okay. Okay. That worked out, but it was weird. What a confusing sequence of events. Okay. Ooh, I had some trouble there. Well, check it out. The island can be completed. Let's do that. See what Carl wrote about this one. Or maybe Michelle wrote it this time. Island completed. Congratulations, Initiate. With this ritual, you finish your work on the island of the Eichinger Kuriyama creature. Just as the way this thing looks is the stuff of nightmares, so shall you be terrifyingly, totally terrifyingly good at puzzles now or something. Frank wrote this. <laughs> Just as the name we came up with is way too long to fit on one line of my dissertation title, so shall your knowledge grow long to reach the challenges that lie ahead. Uh, this is terrible. Someone write something better, please. No, this isn't Frank. The seventh phase of your training is now complete. This is just filler, obviously. Feel free to change if you want, MK. <laughs> All right. So Michelle wrote that. She finds it to be nightmarish, too, even though she had a hand in creating it. Um, okay, so 545, got it. Um, just 
curious about the outside world. So there's eight there, nine here. Nothing else has changed in a while. I think this is all the islands I'm going to unlock. Next time I'm in the outside world, I guess after I solve these two puzzles out here, three puzzles out here, I'm going to look at all these side chambers and just get an idea of like, is this something I have access to? Like this brown thing is. Yeah, I think I have the whole temple unlocked. Like, this is everything that can unlock, because there are no rooms. I remember going into this ro room, I think. Like, this was... This was the one with the filing cabinets with food in them or something? I think. I don't remember what was here, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I've been here. Okay, cool. So, uh, two more puzzles to do here, and then we'll get to World 8. I'll see you then.